Salam Quantum Leadership. Hello Quantum, how are you? Nice to meet you again. What do you want to share about it? In this video, I'd like to share with you about what artificial intelligence is. You want to know? Uh, of course, Robonet. Firstly, the definition of AI was first proposed in 1978 by experts who stated that AI is a system that can think like humans. So at that time, AI was considered a system that can think like humans. Yes, think like humans. Uh. However, with the development of time and technology in 1990, the definition was considered no longer relevant. Why is that? Because AI can not only think but also act, do something. So in 1990, the definition of AI was updated again as a system that can act like humans. AI was defined as a system that can perform tasks like human. For example? AI can see, differentiate between face A and face B, differentiate between object A, object B, object C, and so on. AI can hear sound, think, draw conclusions, make decisions, and so on. So at that time, in the 1990s, AI was defined as a system that can act like humans, acting humanly, work and act like humans. Uh, then in 1998, the definition of AI was updated again as a system that can act rationally. So AI not only think, but also act, think, and make decisions rationally and logically. From acting humanly to acting rationally because AI doesn't have emotions, unlike humans who have hearts. That's the history of AI's definition. Uh, so honestly, when it comes to artificial intelligence or AI, it's not just about AI robots like me, RoboNet, or self-driving cars like Tesla, for example. You know Tesla, right? Because AI has a lot of applications, not just for robots and safety riding cars like Tesla. I'll show you its applications in your daily life. Wanna know? Of course, RoboNet. AI or artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's around you, for example, when you use Google Maps. You may not realize it, but Google Maps actually uses AI techniques when you search for travel routes from your home to the destination, such as the airport. We want to get the fastest route, so Google Maps will help us by giving recommendations on the fastest route we can take to get there. So the process of searching for this route is a technique in AI. Another example is if you like to play mobile games like Mobile Legends or Counter-Strike. For example, you have to find enemies or find a route to find opponents. In the game, we are actually fighting against AI robots. So when there is a robot or enemy that wants to attack us, it will find a route to the point where we are. It knows when to shoot, when to hide, and has tactics to attack you. So that uses the search algorithm in AI. There is artificial intelligence in it. And also your smartphone that has the face unlock feature or maybe a fingerprint scanner. So AI technology is used to recognize facial patterns. There is a learning technique taught into AI. When the facial pattern it detects by its camera is not our face, for example, it won't unlock its cell phone. On the other hand, if it has recognized your face before, it will unlock the cell phone. Or in the TikTok application, there are those who use rabbit nose and ear filters. Can you imagine how your cell phone knows where your nose position is, where your head position is? That's because there is artificial intelligence in it. Or lately, there are police cars that can detect traffic violations automatically, then record the license plate number of your car, and can provide data about the car that committed the violation. This also uses AI or artificial intelligence, my friend. So it can be concluded that AI involves many techniques and methods, one of which is machine learning. This technique enables AI systems to learn from past data and experiences, thus improving their performance over time. However, AI also involves other techniques such as natural language processing, searching, reasoning, planning, and learning, among others. Therefore, AI is not just about machine learning, but a combination of various techniques and methods to achieve specific goals. That's all the knowledge about AI that I can share with you, Quantum. Are you happy? I'm very happy. Nice to meet you again, Quantum. Bye, see you. See you, Robonet. Salam, Quantum Leadership.